Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing here today? This love of Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to continue on with Tinker's 116.5 tutorial. If you've been following along, you already know Tinker's 116.5 actually changed quite a bit of things. The way you can alloy things, the uh, types of alloys there are available, even the way you make different kinds of tools. So let's take a look at all that, plus slime islands. Even slime islands have changed. So first of all, let's take a look. This is our Tinker Station, which we looked at before. But as you can see, you can only make a small amount of tools, right? So in order to upgrade to any of the other tools that you would like to make, you have to make an anvil. Now, there are many different types of anvils, and we'll go through them, but uh, you're going to use any of these to make your higher tools. So the recipe is going to be the same. You need two tinker stations and four of the seared items. It doesn't have to be bricks. It can be all different kinds. So, for instance, if I click here, hit R, you can see any of the cobblestone, the pavers, all those different kinds of smeltery blocks actually works for that. Uh, but which this is the part of the recipe that's going to change this top part right here So you can make it out of many different materials But for this instance, we're going to do slime steel So you need three blocks of whatever you're using in this case slime steel And this is the slime steel anvil now if you click on this you can see there's much more tools that you can actually make with this which is very lovely, very fantastic, right? All right, so these are the different things you can make. So you can do slime steel, tinker's bronze, rose gold, pig iron, queen slime, manulin, hepazon, and netherite. Now, some of these you might be confused. How do I even get those, right? Well, before we get into that, first of all, let's take a look at slime islands because slime is something we're gonna need for some stuff. Like for instance, if you wanna make the slime steel. So the slime islands, these are the typical slime islands that you used to see. These are really cool. And typically, you know, unless you have flight with some other type of mod, you're gonna have to use blocks to climb up, which is what I typically do. Now, these are ways you can get slime. There's the congealed sky slime blocks, and then there's the congealed slime blocks. And these actually are different colors, as you can see. But you can break these down into little slime balls. But the other thing is, you can actually take down these slime uh, trees. Um, so as you see, there's slimy vines, skyroot logs, and slimy leaves. But if you take this down, it actually gives you some saplings, which is pretty cool. And in order to plant those, you need some of this grass. But when you dig it up, it'll actually give you the dirt, but that's okay. Uh, but you can actually replant those wherever you are. You don't have to have them just up here. But to get started, you're going to want to go up here. Now, there's one other thing, and let me get there. Because there's actually a different way to get slime now. So, be right back. Okay, so where we set up was right there. And I actually didn't do this on purpose, but it worked out great. Because there's our sky island, but new to 116, there's islands down below, which is pretty cool. You're only going to find them out in the oceans, though. Um, if they're spawning in other places, then something mess up, because that's not the way it's supposed to work. But as you can see here, you actually get Earth Slime Island achievement, which is pretty cool. But it also has more of these slime blocks. Now, not every one of them will have a tree. But as you can see, if we go over to this one over here, it does have a tree. And this tree is a green tree, whereas the other one was blue. So now the kind you get really doesn't matter unless you're looking to do specific things, which we'll go into those in a different video. Some of the accessories you can make depends uh, the color that they turn out depends on what kind of slime you use. So, you know, with that, sometimes I like to use the different colors. 
All right, but as you can see, they're very, very handy because then you don't have to climb up and you just go into the ocean and ta-da, you got slime. All right, let's go back to where we were and talk about some of the stuff that we can alloy because now that we have our Tinker Smeltery, we can start doing alloys, which is what some of these are. Now, the copper ore, this ore actually is a Tinker's Copper. So that one is for this. I imagine in the 117, 118, it's probably removed, but I don't have that confirmed yet because it's not out for that version yet. Okay, but an ore that um, is added is cobalt. Now we had cobalt in Tinker's previously. So we have cobalt, right? And you can do the blocks of cobalt or you can do the um, ingots, all that good stuff. But this ore is only in the nether. Now, one thing we don't have that Tinkers used to have is Ardite. There is no longer Ardite. So if you're looking for that, that's not available. Yet we still have Manulin, so you might be confused because you used to have to combine cobalt and Ardite. Well, we'll get to that. The recipe for that has actually changed. All right, so this is that slime steel, the one that we made the first anvil out of. This is what the ingot looks like. Again, they're really pretty. So for this one, you're going to need one seared stone, one slime ball, and one iron ingot. Now, that recipe is only going to make one ingot. So, of course, if you want the blocks, you're going to have to make nine for each block. All right, then for the Tinker's Bronze, this again has changed a little bit. So now you need three copper ingots and one block of molten glass. Well, molten glass is not exactly what you think it is. It's not just taking sand and melting it in the smeltery. Oh, no, no. Now they made it quite a bit difficult. So you have to melt, melt, kill, whatever, two creepers in the smeltery. So this is what the ingot looks like. And of course, this is the block. Now, this is going to be a little bit difficult. You're going to have to find a way to get something to spawn, specifically a creeper for this one. For this, we're just going to use a creeper. You do need two in order to make one full block. But as you look, it will show you when you get to a full block. Hence why you need the two. And you'll have to take the gunpowder out. It's really weird the way you have to do this. But once you have enough, you just pour it into the basin. And that'll give you the block. Unless, of course, you're wanting to make the, um, the uh, bronze here. Then you want to leave it in there and add the three copper ingots to it. And that'll make your stuff very very weird again i know but that's the way it is now so but if you want to make the molten glass it's actually really pretty and if you combine it together it's what the old glass used to be so they did make this quite a bit more difficult and uh yeah you're gonna have to create some kind of spawner around this Make it dark so that way you can get mobs to mount in here. Now, even if you have other mobs mount in here, we're going to need one of the ingredients for something later, which is coagulated blood. All right. So before we get to the blood part, let's look. Oh, sorry about that. My mouse. All right. So next one is the rolls gold. Look at that block. It's so beautiful. And there's the ingot. So for this one, it's really simple. Three copper ingots and one gold ingot. Combine those and you will have your rose gold. Next, we have the pig iron, which was previously a tinker's thing, which is really cool. I always love the way the ingot looks. And then, of course, the block has the pig face on it. But it is one iron ingot, one clay ingot, and one blood slime or blood. Now, there's different ways you can get blood slime or blood. This is what it looks like. It's coagulated blood. But there's different ways you can get this. So one of the most common ways that I like to do anyway, but you cannot do it in creative. You actually have to be fully in survival, which you would be if you were playing this, right? So if you just jump yourself into the smeltery, 
<laughs> uh, and you can look here, it's filling up with blood. You wanna make sure you get at least one slime ball. Make sure, obviously, not to kill yourself because that's not the goal. The goal is just to get some blood in there. Now, the weird thing is all the little things here, like from the drain and from the smeltery here, turn red because you have blood in there, which I think is freaky, but you know. Okay, so if you want a slime ball, all you're going to do is put it, drain it onto a table. And that will give you the slime ball. So, for instance, if you have some in there, you don't want it in there, you can take it out and save it for later. Like so, because then you can simply put it back in there. It'll melt back down and give you your blood. But if you needed to combine it, for instance, like with the blood, the pig iron recipe, then you would want to leave it in there and add the iron and clay to make the pig iron. All right, next, this is another new one and it's really cool. It's queen slime. I think this is really, really pretty. Uh, I love it. And I think for decoration, that could be very beautiful. And that's what the ingot looks like. So this is one cobalt ingot, one gold ingot, and one magma cream slime ball. Now, of course, the magma cream you're going to get from the nether by killing the magma slimes. So that's how you're going to get those. Uh, the other way for the magma slime... Um, magma... The other recipe for the magma slime, let me make sure it's still in here, yeah. You can combine any of these slime balls or even the coagulated blood with blaze powder and make magma cream, right? Pretty easy. All right, so next we have the manulin. And like I said, this is different. And then these, I'll explain what these are because these are something else we have to do that makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, so this is the manulin cube, or block, I mean, the ingot, and the new recipe. So you need three cobalt ingots and one molten debris. What is a molten debris? Well, it's basically netherite scrap. And that'll give you one ingot. All right, and last one we have is hepazon. Hepazon, hopefully I'm saying that right. But anyway, it's a very pretty uh darker purple i really like this block i think it looks kind of uh, factory ish and would be very cool in building and there's the ingot for it this one is two copper ingots one cobalt ingot and one block of obsidian so this one actually wouldn't be too hard to make all right now the thing is these three which is why i have these frames here so i could uh, remember which three it is, these three take a higher melting point than what lava produces. So lava is typically a thousand degrees Celsius, right? But we need to get this higher. So how are we going to do that? Okay, here's one of the reasons this gets a little bit more difficult. You're going to have to get... Uh, blaze but it's called, okay, I had to look it up, forgot the name of it, silly me. It is called Blazing Blood, which is weird, but it has a 1500 degrees Celsius melting point. So that's what you need, starting with this one here, the queen slime. Starting with there, you actually have to have this in order to smelt them because the lava will not be hot enough. Now, how are you gonna get this? Well, it's weird, but you have to get blaze inside the smeltery. So, uh, let's do this one over here. Yeah, so I have a tank here. So if we were able to get blaze here, which I would recommend doing in the nether, you know, where those blaze spawners are. And as it's dying, oops, as it's dying, you're gonna see it's giving you more and more of the blazing blood. Uh, let's just get rid of this guy here. We don't need him around creating havoc and messing everything up. But the easiest way to get this, to get these blaze in your spawner, I will kill him later. <laughs> uh, the easiest way to get this is going to be 
when you find one of those blaze spawners, you're gonna wanna build a little smeltery. It doesn't have to be huge, but you're gonna wanna build one close to where they spawn. That way, hopefully, it's not gonna be a quick process, but that way, hopefully, you can get some to spawn inside here and they will die. Now, once you have some in here, which again, you can click on the smeltery to see, we have 400 millibuckets. So then you can pour it straight into one of the fuel tanks, right? So then when you need to smelt one of the other items, you just take out the other one. Of course, you would not be in creative like I am right now, but then you would put in this and that would allow you to cook at a higher temperature. So that is going, going to be the only way to make these three types. So for the queen slime, manulin, and hepazon, that is the only way to create those. You need that higher melting point, higher than the lava. All right, so that's how you get the blaze blazing blood and the regular blood the other thing that i didn't say is let's see if you were to create a mob farm so let, let's go to some actual uh even zoglin uh zombies so if you wanted to create a regular mob farm because you know you're gonna need the creepers you can also other mobs will also die in here. Now, of course, Zoglin, if you don't have it high enough, they're going to get smart. They're going to run away. But, as you can see, got a full block. Other mobs are going to die in here, too. So, they're still going to be beneficial and rude. How dare you just get up and walk off. Um, so, you're definitely going to want it more than one high. But you also, if you're doing it for yourself, because like if I get in here, it's not doing anything because I'm in creative. But if you were jumping in yourself to create blood, make sure that it's only one block high so you can jump out uh, before you die. Because nobody wants that to happen, right? All right. So that is it for this one. Next time, we're going to go over some of the extra stuff, Tinker's ads, why they're so cool. And they did add one new tool, which is pretty awesome. So we'll go over that next time too. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out the other tutorials. I'm not going to go through all the tools this time because I did go through what each one of them does on the uh, previous Tinker's tutorials, but I will go ahead and link that. So if you want to check that out and see what all the different tools and weapons and what all they do and all that, then uh, you can go check that out because like I said, there's only one different tool this time. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you are enjoying these, don't forget, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way it'll actually show you when all the new videos come out. Thank you so much for being here. Leave any questions or comments down below. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Till next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.